What if I was to tell you right now that Jesus really don't exist? What the fuck? Yo, what the hell are you I just want you to calm down what and the talk hell to me. What is you talking about, man? What the fuck you mean Jesus don't exist? What's wrong with you? What the? Listen, that you, was a trick by the white man. What the fuck, man? I did not tell you something wrong with you, man. Why? Because Jesus always exists. What the? F how the? How the hell you think all these people got over here, man? And you think Jesus has That's something to right. do with that? That's right. He made man. He made lady. So what did Jesus do for you? He did nothing for me. He kept me living right here, man. What the hell you talking about? Jesus don't exist, man. What the hell you think you at? Why you think you here? Huh? What the? What the? Man, what's wrong, what's wrong with you, man? What I'm saying you've been praising Jesus all your life. That's right, that's right. What if I was to tell you that that bastard never really hey, existed? Yo, watch your fucking mouth right here, man. Watch your motherfucking mouth. What the fuck you talking about Jesus like that? Man, who the fuck is you? Now you're fucking up now, man. Now you're fucking up now, man. <laughs> Peace and Black Power family, welcome to another Saw and Letter TV House of Consciousness production. Check out the survey. We're going to see, because a lot of people always say, how come y'all still talking about religion? Well, I'm going to show you why we still talk about religion. Because we went through 400 to 500 years of psychological damage, all right? Check this out, family. Saw Letter TV. If it was ever a good time. That I could just roll the streets and never hold a beef If there was ever a bad time Long as we just stick together We would set up at a town on the streets And at the TV's right on time Ain't no masquerades and no network games to play It'd be the new pastime It'd be the new pastime If it was ever a good time Then we could just live in peace And didn't kill our peeps Ain't no more walking around blind Ain't no stopping, it's the consciousness to drop and help the people to see If we could live in the sunshine Without being a slave Free from all stress and hate Would that be the last sign? Yes, family, as I was saying You know, a lot of people always talk that bull crap They don't know what the hell they're talking about You know, just because you are at a certain point in your life You are at a different level in your life That don't mean everybody's going to be on the same page When you say we need to stop talking about religion When you finish watching this You tell me if we need to stop talking about religion We got to keep religion on the table Because our people is trapped inside of religion not only religion, but the goddamn white man religion. They would choose the white man over their own mother. You a Jesus man. I believe in God, yes. I believe in God and Jesus, yes. Was he a white man or a black man? I believe he's white. Come on over here. You see Marcus Garvey, Jesus Christ, and Malcolm X. Which one of these men means more to you in your life? Jesus Christ. Why Jesus Christ? Because he's everything. How? He's everything. He's, he's all. He created me. He loves me. If you was to choose between Marcus Garvey, Jesus Christ, and Malcolm X, which man means more to you today in your life? Uh, I'd probably say Jesus. What to it? I probably say Jesus because the uh, I probably say Jesus. What about you, sir? Who is this again? Marcus God. Marcus God. I would say Jesus. Jesus. I would say Jesus. Jesus. This one here. Yeah, in the middle. How about you? Jesus. Which one of these men mean more to you in your life today? Jesus Christ, Marcus Garvey, or Malcolm X? Jesus Christ. Which one? Jesus Christ. Which one? If I was to tell you that there's really no Jesus on the planet, what would go through your mind? That you don't know the truth. So do you suppose Jesus was a white man, though? Keep it real. If he lived in Israel, it must be white. Yes, right here, Marcus Garvey, Jesus Christ, and Malcolm X. Which one of these are more influential in your life today, brother? And why? Um, you know, honestly, I think that, that, that for, for each of their time periods, they all represented a sense of change, right? right? So, 
So, so I don't know if 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 one is more relevant. I think that the, the I, I think I think the idea is that that each of them looked at what the the social norm was and went against it. So, regardless of 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 what each of them looked like and what each of them stood for, I think at the end of the day, each of them said that what's going on at, in their current time isn't right, and let's do some things to to change it. Whether it was government, the Pharisees. Or, or the way we're being treated. Now, if you had the choice to choose one, like I asked you, which one is more influential in your life? Just one. You have to choose one. But I, I got you, you, you. So, so with that though, sometimes you got to take the answer that was given. So my answer was, is that for me? No, all of these no, you didn't ask the question. You got to ask to answer the question. I, I'm not. I'm not. Wait, hold on. So, 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 so. You did like a matrix. Woo! You skipped around the question. Right. Ask exactly. me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, what, who's more important to you, your mother or your father? That's not the question. No, no, it is. It's the same thing. No, it it's not the same thing. That. You can't there because, no because none of them. No, but, but no, but but you can you can you can have an answer. The mother and the father. Yeah. No, <laughs> okay, so. I chose all three. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, it's all right. All right, you tap dancing, brother. <laughs> Which one of these men are more influential in your life today? Oh, you know that Miguel and Jesus. Oh, so you saying you're going with Jesus over? Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X. Yes. Which one of them is most influential in your life? If you had a chance to choose one. two. No, no, you got to take one. It got to be Jesus. It right, got to be Jesus because so, he made those two. But nah, I got to say Malcolm X because so that man made the one in the side. middle that's more influential in your of life. Of course, of course. I have to must say Jesus Christ. Oh, so you going with Jesus too? All yeah. right, that's three of them so far. This experiment the brother Sarnetta is doing out here. With these three pictures, I'm encouraging the family in all different regions, Atlanta, the South especially. Let's take a pulse of our people. Let's not just be the only ones doing this on 125th Street in Harlem, New York. We need to see where we at as a people. We need to take a consensus. We need to take the pulse of our people to know what regions and what areas need the most help based off of the answers. So if you're in California, I'm, I'm calling you out, Blue Pill. Brother AA, um, you know, my brothers is out there. My brothers in the A Town, my brothers in the Louis, my brothers in Texas, out there in Houston and Dallas and whatnot, Fort Worth. We need y'all to do, you know, especially brothers and sisters is watching the House of Consciousness. Let's take this test and let's bring it to our neighborhoods. Let's go into barbershops and into the streets and ask these questions. But we're going to ask this sister right here. Out of these three beings, out of these three persons right here, these three, you know, great men, which one of them is more important to you in your life right now? Malcolm X. Malcolm X, do you, you want to explain well, why? Well, my grandfather was a Black Panther, and he talks about him a lot. So, no yeah. And your grandfather's a great man. <laughs> yeah. Yes, no doubt. Yeah. So he spoke about how he affected our lives in real, like in this reality, as opposed that's to, your friend, Bill? yes, that's, our friend, there you go. that's your friend. Hello, Miss Hollywood. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking. I, that's a name change, so I'm thinking your name is Hollywood. How you doing? Hi. Out of these three men, which one has most the most significance to you in your personal life right now? I believe God has a lot to do in my personal life. Okay. Because uh, well, I come from a Christian family anyways, so I think that because I was raised in that environment, mm -hmm. growing up in that environment kind of makes me think about, you know, having, just having God in everything that I do. I just no believe just wanted... that it would be, it kind of helps me with my decisions. And things. Indeed. I want to point out two things, well, three things rather. It's interesting because we got the perspective of two young ladies who are friends. She spoke about her upbringing in her household, and you did as well. And her, her household, her grandfather speaks about Malcolm X. Your household leans more towards the Christian aspect of doing things. And we pointed to Jesus Christ, and you said, God. That's your babies? Hi. How you doing? Hello. Hey, beautiful. We have a question, huh? Oh, what's up, you little man? Give me five. My man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. We're asking the family a question. These three great men, who we all know historically, Malcolm, Malcolm X, 
Jesus Christ, and Marcus Garvey. Who would you say has the most significance in your life right now in these days out of the three men? Jesus Christ. Do you care to explain why? I'm a Christian and I believe that the Lord is my savior. So that's why he died for my sins and my children's sins and everyone's sins. Out of these three men right here, Marcus, Jose Garvey, Jesus Christ, right? And Malcolm X, El Malik Shabazz, which one of those three men have the most significance in your personal life to date? That is very hard. No, it is hard because all three of them are influential. Yeah. Wait, we're saying we're saying in your we're saying now, right now in your personal life, in your circle, because we all are on different journeys. So which one is the more significant to you right now? So Wow. I'm being honest, it's hard to really say that. No, it's really hard to really... It took me a long time, too. Yeah, it's hard to make a... I don't know, it's really hard to say. I can't really say which one is more influential. I think all three of them actually are influential. To many people, you know, but they're on different, le they're on different levels, though. I can't get one. I can't just take one. I respect that. The collective. No doubt. How you doing, good brother? Did I see you at the Rutgers? That was you jumping over the police car, Duncan? All right, look. These three men right here, very influential historical figures in, 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 in our lives. You have over here Marcus Mosea Garvey from the UNIA. You have Jesus Christ, and you have El Malik Shabazz, affectionately known as Malcolm X. Which one of those three men would you say has more influence in your personal life today? Uh, Jesus Christ. Do you care to explain why, brother? Uh, I mean, I would just say personally, more so for me, it's, that's who I pray to every night. And, you know, I, I guess that's why I try to keep, you know, at least the word of Jesus Christ more close to me on my everyday life. Now you see why when people say, how come y'all always talk about religion? Let's get past that. We went through 500 to 400 years of this. So we're not going to just get over it. Just because you may have a certain information and you pass it, don't mean the masses are beyond that or pass it. Everybody are raised on their own levels, brother. What do you say about that? I say that, you know... We need to ask these questions. We need to know where the minds of our people are at, where their hearts and minds are at. And, you know, that, that's going to help us when it comes to, you know, what it is that we have to teach them, from what angle do we have to teach from. So back to what we were saying earlier, I encourage the family in all of the 50 states to take up, you know, this is a simple challenge. Put these pictures up, you know what I'm saying? Ask questions, break the ice. Be social with your family. Stop them in the streets. Let them know that you got some questions. We got our brother Ike right here. I want to ask Ike, out of these three men on this, on this uh, right here that you see, right? We have Malcolm X, we got Jesus Christ, and you have Mal uh, Marcus Garvey. Which one of these men are more influential to you in your life today, your personal life? I would have to go with Malcolm X. Okay, just break it down real quick. I really don't know, but I just, you know, having so much about this man. But really, both of them men, though. Yeah. I just heard so much about them, so I'm going to go. Oh, He's going with Malcolm and Marcus, the duo. Not because he been out here long enough with us. <laughs> but I got to go get back, back to this money, though. No doubt. Indeed, indeed. We got our boy, Dreezy Drake. Dreezy, come here, bro. What it do, man? <laughs> Peace to the gods. What it do, bro? Always medicated. <laughs> always elevated. Drizzy, what's up, baby? What's we, good? We 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 out here in these streets. We got sweet baby Jesus. Sweet baby, <laughs> sweet baby. We doing a consensus. We want to know out of these three men, who resonates more with you and your personal journey, right? Is it Mal Mar Marcus, Marcus Mosea? Is it? What'd Jesus you Christ, Marcus, Marcus Mosiah Garvey. That was his middle know. name. Yeah, he's yo. Let part. me drop something on you. I ain't know the Messiah part. I always know him as just Marcus Garvey. Do the do the initials. MMG. Boss. Or Malcolm X. So is it Malcolm X, Jesus, or MMG? Who resonates with you more, brother? 
Um, to give you like a little personal history real quick, not to go too deep. Uh, me personally, I, 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 I grew up learning about all three of them. Yes. Because at the time, you know what I'm saying, even when even how I got my name, Idris, is after the uh, one of the many one of the many great jazz percussionists who just passed away, Idris Muhammad. I heard that on the radio. This yeah, Idris, the late great Idris Muhammad. Idris Muhammad. A, a that's who I'm musician. named after. He played with my father the all the time. My father, a, you, my father's a jazz musician. But that's how I got my name. But anyway, Drop your father's name for the Greg Bandy, yeah. Greg Bandy the Great, the drummer. Yeah. Everybody know him. But yo, but anyway. Uh, I learned about all three of these cats. I learned about this cat, though, through my grandmother. The grandma. Okay. But, like I say, always with, a, with, a, with another understanding from being taught from, from, being, from, being taught from Islamic peoples and five percenters that played with my father. Mm -hmm. They all, I've always had a different understanding and, and knowledge of what the Bible was telling people and what my grandmother was trying. Like, it was all cool that you learned the moral of the story and everything, but don't fully buy all the stories just get just get to just get to understand the meaning so you're saying that they taught you the bible from a a book's perspective like a like a parable like a moral like a like a, like a mythos of, of a life of a life story uh, that's how i was always taught many aspects that are simply like from a philosophical point that's how i was broken down and but to me honestly i've always related to brother malcolm the most and i'll explain why because he was a real cat, and the reason why I always related to him because he 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 was a lot like my, many of my my my, my uh, teachers and, and mentors. Real quick, fam, let me ask you a question, man. Uh -oh. Thirty seconds, Thomas. Let's go. Out of these three men on the wall, family, we doing a consensus of the family today. We want to know where where our people are at. Malcolm X, Jesus Christ, Marcus Mosaic Garvey. What man would you say resonates with you the most in your life right now? Out of those three men, me personally, yes, sir. just from the way I was brought up and everything. Well, I guess the way that my family is, I say Jesus Christ. Okay, what about you, brother? Like my family is big on church and things like that. So why all three mm -hmm. all play a part? I say the most. Yes. My family is about 200 people strong. I say Jesus Christ. Did they teach also about Marcus and, Mosa and, um, and Malcolm? Did they talk about them as well? Our, fa our family shows us about everything. Oh, no but like I said, we got a big family. Our family is. Our family are big on church and things like that. Would you say nah, the same? My, yeah, my, it's the same. That's, that's my brother. That's my brother. I see the similarities. No doubt. I appreciate that. Now, what if I was to tell both of y'all that Jesus really never existed, that that was a trick to enslave our mind? What would you say about that? I'd say that's something I've definitely heard before. I mean, like everybody, you know, you got, you got your believers and your non-believers. But, I mean, going off with the question is, like, that's the one that resonates with us most because that's the one we've been brought up around to see, et cetera, et cetera. Mind you, I spent half of my life living overseas, okay. and where I live in Australia. Oh, so over there, you know, you know, they again, they know Malcolm X, et cetera, et cetera, but though they're not as big over there because those are predominantly white countries. Is Christ big over there? Is Jesus Christ big over there? Yes. So continue talking, Drizzy. So, uh, so yeah, so you know, what I mean, always related to Malcolm because he was he was just a regular guy that was always that just got turned on. He was a pimp and a hustler. And he got turned on when he was locked, God forbid, because he got locked up or whatever. But either way, however it happened, he got turned on. And then, you know what I mean, then he further extended his, his knowledge after he broke from the Islam. So that was, that's, that's why I always related to Malcolm, man. Because he was a cat that, that just kept learning in life. And you he, could relate to him personally? Yeah, personally, because you know what I mean? Because you do, you do right and wrong, but you try to keep learning and growing. And Malcolm never, up, up, even up until the day he died, he never stopped seeking more knowledge and more and more understanding and stuff. You know what I mean? Even because you know what I mean. He was he was riding he was riding with Islam all the way up until he found out all the all the all the, the nitty gritty that was going on up under there. Yeah. But then immediately after that, he broke away from that and went seeking further truth. That's a real that's a real dude for you. And then after that, he went to go speak out of his own mouth to tell you of the rights and wrongs that he had learned. You know, a lot, a lot of people ain't going to go out there and go against what they learn because they're too afraid to say, you know what, I thought I was right, but I turned out to be wrong, but now yes. I learned. Can I ask you one question? This is news, news is news one. You don't got no... Real talk, let me show you my press pass. You... Yes, you can. Come... Real talk, let me just ask you a question. <laughs> <I'm official. laughs> Come on, son, let's show. 
Out of these three men, Marcus Garvey, Jesus Christ, and Malcolm X, which one of these great men are more influential in your life today, brother? Jesus Christ. Which one? Why Jesus? Because that's my belief. That's my religion. Come on, my man. You, you, we're going to ask you too. We got three pictures here. We got Marcus Garvey, Jesus Christ, and Martin, Malcolm X. Which one of these men mean more to you in your life today? And why? Jesus Christ. Why Jesus? Um, influenced me in like singing and a lot of stuff. So you're giving the credit to Jesus for you singing good. Yep. You don't think you did that yourself. You don't think you had the talent yourself. You don't want to give yourself that credit. Nah. You're going to give it to something mystery or something spooky. Yep, I guess so. Or something that don't really exist. Yeah. What if I was to tell you that Jesus is not real? Then I'd say everybody's opinion is just their opinion. Okay, you see Malchus Garvey, Jesus Christ, and Malcolm X. Which one mean more to you in your life today? Jesus. Which one? Point to it. Show us. So this one is more important in your life? Yes. Why? Because I believe in him. Huh? I believe in him. Thank you. See that? Well, let me... Say it again. Because I believe in him. In Jesus. You believe in him? Yeah. How you doing? All right. You got Marcus Garvey, Jesus Christ, and Malcolm X. Which one mean more to you in your life today? And why? Uh, well, it's hard to choose. It's hard to choose one. I, I, I want to say this, that first of all, I'm a 60 baby, and um, I'm 53 years old. So I've been indoctrinated with all three of them uh, practically at the same time. Um, and they all, at different times, uh, played a major part in my life. Michael gave me discipline. Uh, Jesus gave me uh, spirit with outside of spirit with that side of myself and Marcus Garvey gave me uh, education of my history okay well I want to see if your spirit and faith is strong right now if you had a chance to choose one which one mean more to you in your life today at this time real time right now point to the one that means more to you in your life right now from a spiritual sense I, I would have to I would have to pick the one in the middle uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Which one means more to you in your life? God, God. Right here, right here. Jesus? Jesus, yeah, Jesus. Why Jesus? You know, he, because he the Savior. He did everything, you dig? He saved everybody. Well, he saved way what you said. He, he with you. But props to um, Malcolm X, though. Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. Now, you see, you are wrong. For those of y'all who say we need to stop talking about religion See, you some selfish ass bastards Because you are on a different level That don't mean the rest of the masses of our people is on that level Why the hell you wanna just leave them behind? Hell no, black man or woman We need to go after our people Because our people are trapped in religion If we stop talking about religion There'll be more and more and more of our young people on religion We got to kill this white man religion sweet baby Jesus and this is what we are attempting to do today family don't think for one minute that we just talked about which man is the best and we let them go no that's not it we had conversations with the brothers on the side see don't think we just asked them which man is more significant in your life and they just picked Jesus and we let them walk no sir no man we had put them on the side we got brothers like Red Pill, Sonetta, Brother Sutek, and we talked and build with the brothers. Of course, you ain't gonna see all of that because I cut it. But what I'm trying to say to you, family, is that we need to keep religion on the table. Don't let nobody tell you we need to stop talking about religion. See, that's a Negro that don't want to do the goddamn work. Get out there and teach your people, black man, black woman. Don't tell us what we are doing and you not doing it yourself. Peace and black power. Family, check out the African man. Yeah. So you're saying that this one is the most relevant in your life right now? The Bible says, he who come from above is above everything. What part of Africa are you from? Nigeria. Now this is Africa. <laughs> this is Africa. Yeah. And a lot of you Negroes out there talking about why do we deal with religion all the time? Yeah. This is why we deal with religion he all the time. Above, above everything. 
a perfect man. Is he comparable? Who are you? So, so you saying that this one is oh, he's perfect? Yes. Look at it. Look. Is he more than this? So you love this one? Being. Yeah, this is the greatest God all over the world. So you saying no? Yeah. This one. Look at what about Malcolm X? This is Malcolm X. Compare Malcolm X to Malcolm Gavin. Yeah. He comparable. This is the greatest God ever, ever to live in this world. Now you hear that, my man Gavin? <laughs> my man from Nigeria, and he said this is the best. You can't compare none of them to yeah. Jesus. Yes, because he's the perfect man. That is a model everybody should. You emulate. Now, what if I was to tell you that this really never existed? Jesus never really existed. Say it again. <laughs> what if I was to tell you that this right here, this image? They made it up? Yes. Who made it up? The white man. I never know of that. This is the first time I ever heard of that. What if I was to say that this is really a homosexual? No, no, that's the end of it. Come on, man. No. Come on, man. Come here, come here, brother. How you doing, man? I'm alright. Which one of these men mean more to you and your This life? one. Huh? Jesus. Where you from? I'm from Nigeria. He's from Nigeria too. Yeah. What if I was to tell you that this is not real? It's, it's real. No, look, he's Igbo. I just want to. I'm Igbo. I'm Igbo, Nigeria. You hear that, polite? Say that again. Nigeria, Igbo. You Igbo. Yeah. Polite. We coming to get you, polite. Are you Igbo too? Yeah, I'm Igbo. Oh, oh, polite. Come, no, polite. Polite say he equal. Yes. Oh man, my brother, polite. You got a lot of work to do, brother. Brother, he sacrificed his life for our children. He is the reason why you are able to come over here today. No. He fought for you to come over here. It is this one that you are able. It's the, because of Jesus. That's why we are able so to. It's not because of Malcolm X. No, 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 no. Malcolm X is the one that fought for you to have the rights that you have. Is the one. Jesus Christ is the one. That made it possible for us to be. Allah is a religion that belongs to the um, the northern Nigerian. That's what they believe in. I don't condemn any religion. Right. But what if I was to tell you that this image is not real? This is a fake. It's not a fake. Anybody can come up with any imagination, but you resemble Jesus in your heart. Is in your heart, mm -hmm. not how you look. So this is in my heart. The quality is what he asks us to do, is what he is interested in. Listen, you know, he, he, my grandmother is fairer than him in terms of color. In Igbo land, we have every, in Africa, you have every color of the world. Red pill, look at it, make sure it's on. So let me ask you this. You see this Jesus, right? Is this image more important than your own mother, than your father? It, the image, image is nothing. Right, but no, listen to me. Is Jesus more important to you than your own mother and father? Jesus Christ is more important to me than myself. Oh. You know the reason? Oh. Oh, he told me to love myself as others. So Jesus told you to love yourself? Yes. Your mother didn't tell you to love yourself? He did. But listen, my mother, my grandfather, I am from a generation of artists. We are the I want to ask you a question about these free thinkers. What do these three men, which one of these three men mean more to you in your life right now? Is it Marcus Mosea Gavi? Would it be Jesus Christ? Or would it be our brother Malcolm X? Jesus Christ. Can you explain why briefly? That's my savior. That's the, he who keep me going every day. He, he, he got you here. Yeah, and exactly. All of this. I'm from Let's Cleveland, Ohio. I work at Black Ink. I'm about to be on VH1 in okay. January. I, he see, did that. I know. He, he made that happen. He did right. that. Yeah. What's your name? Donna. Donna Lombardi. Right, Donna. I see you. All right. We're asking our family questions today about these three people here. Which one of these figures, these historical figures, would you say resonated with you the most in your personal life right now? Could it be a brother by the name of Marcus Mosiah Garvey? Could it be Jesus Christ? Or could it be El Malik Shabazz, affectionately known as Malcolm X? All three. Okay. We're trying to choose one, though, today. Choose one that affected me? That and my a, lifestyle? That is the most important to you in your lifestyle and has affected you in the most positive way in the now, personally? Well, I grew up Catholic, so yes, mm -hmm. it would be easy for me to say Jesus, but Marcus Garvey, I mean, he's, he's, he was a wonder to himself. Indeed. Malcolm X, but um, I don't know. To me, I would have to say Jesus because Malcolm X and uh, Marcus Garvey is more of a traditional <laughs> cultural thing. So it won't resonate well, that much more with outside that culture than the blacks in itself. 
Now I'm part of, I'm also black, mm -hmm. but Jesus has been a staple in my life as all the belief of Jesus. Not that I necessarily Jesus believe everything. That I don't know. I know there's Jesus and Malcolm X, but you know, I'm not sure. Right here. Nah. Okay, have you ever heard of Marcus Garvey? Yeah, I've heard of Marcus Garvey. Well, this yeah. is Marcus Garvey right here. Yes, a, a brother out of Jamaica, a very great man. I want to know, though, out of these three men, which one would you say is most important to you today in your personal life, in your growth and development, in your travels? Would it be Marcus Garvey, Jesus Christ, or our brother Malcolm X? Uh, like I said before, I'm not uh, aware who Marcus Garvey is. Uh, I know of Haley Selassie. I'll put Haley Selassie up there with him, but... Uh, I'll say Jesus. God, God. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, yeah, Jesus. Honestly speaking, Jesus. Based on everything I believe, I'm going to go with the Caucasian brother. Jesus Christ. Because he does everything for you. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus has been a staple in my life. Jesus. He's an awesome God. He's faithful. I mean, without him today. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. God. I'm going to go with the Caucasian brother. He's my savior. It's Jesus Christ. He died for my sins. Jesus. It's Jesus Christ. I believe Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh. Jesus Christ is the more important. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm looking for Jesus Christ right now. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus. The one in the middle. That's not what people that say, Jesus. A perfect man. Is he comparable? Who are you? So, so you're you? saying that this one is oh, he's perfect? Yes. Look at him. Look. Is he more than this? So you love this one? being. Yeah, this is the greatest God all over the world. So you're saying no. Yeah. This one, look at what about Malcolm X? This is Malcolm X. Compare Malcolm X to Malcolm Gavin. Yeah. Is he comparable? This is the greatest God ever, ever to live in this world. What is your sentiments about what you see today from the uh, the survey that we're taking of the streets, taking the consensus of the people about what it is that they think, what it what how what are they, what is their perceptions, and what these three men mean to them? Well, I, I think this is very very powerful what y'all doing, and I think it points directly at the notion that we need to get beyond this. You understand? I, I read a lot of the comments on the video and people seem to think that we stuck on religion and we stuck on this and we stuck on that. The interesting thing about this is that when you point to the Jesus Christ picture, people recognize him as they God. You understand what I'm saying? They surprised by the amount that it's like, nah, I'm good. They picking the God. No, no, you got you got folks that are picking, but I'm talking about the, the people. But but even the ones who's picking the gods, they not saying, I don't recognize him as any influence in my life. That. You know what I'm saying? You know, but okay, how many? Not the majority. All right. All right. Yeah. So out of a out of the seventy people that y'all spoke to, maybe three or four. Maybe ten. Okay, maybe ten. ten. All right. But still, these people are looking at this picture, and they're giving it credibility. In between these two brothers here, they giving this they giving this guy credibility. You know what I'm saying? So when when we out here and we dealing with people on religion. You got to realize that the brainwashing that's been instilled is powerful. And it's not just the old. You don't ask kids like 15, 16, 17 years old. And they, they are brainwashed with this program in here. So that just tells you that the forces that are operating against us are still strong is, is hell. You understand? This Caucasians program is still in full effect because our people are still being brainwashed. Hey, baby, how you doing? Are still being brainwashed by this. Yeah, but I hear what you're saying. But what about, and I know you touched on it, I want you to go a little deeper, but what about all those that say 
Why y'all still debating religion, man? Why we just can't get past that and leave the religion alone and let's deal with some other topics? We need to get past this and let's deal with something else. I'm tired of dealing with religion. Well, those people need to move on to the next thing. You understand? Because there's st obviously there's still work to be done with this. Those people that are tired of the religion, move on to the next thing. Graduate the junior high school, graduate the college or whatever, as far as your your pursuit of knowledge is concerned. If, if you've already uh, come to terms with your thought process on religion, then go on to the next page. Go to the next chapter. Don't keep reading the same chapter over and over again. You understand? When you have a book that you read and you mastered the book, do you throw the book away? No, you probably keep it in your library. You understand? So we still got a lot of people that is evidenced by our experiment here today. We still have a lot of people that need to be reached because this is a slave-making religion. Oh, no, 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 I got to do this. Now, for one thing, it's very important. What we are doing today is not to ridicule our people. We are trying to show you this is one of the main reasons why we do what we do. We don't just have debates. We come out here, we sacrifice our time to educate our people. Now, when we put this up, it's not for you to beat up on our people to talk about how fucked up they are, how stupid they are, because we know how vicious you can be with your comments. We know, we know that you don't love your people. We really do know that, number one. We just putting this up there to show you the work that needs to be done, not only here in our community, like my brother Red Pill said earlier, but in everybody's community. We need to do these type of surveys so we can see exactly where we are at in our growth and development. Yeah. Talk. Where you from, beloved? I'm from Mali. Beautiful. The mother name. Give me a hug. She's from the continent. <laughs> Where's she from? She's from Mali. Okay. Out of these three men, which one would you say is more important to you in your everyday growth and development, like in your travels? Jesus. Are you a Christian? No, but I believe in God. I'm just asking one question. This, this, is, this is news. How y'all doing? Hello. All right. How's everything? We want to just know from our family out here, out of these three minutes you see on the wall, right? Are you, are you familiar with this guy right here? Yeah. Who's that? And are you familiar with that guy over there on the other end? No. You never saw him before? No. Have you ever heard of Marcus Garvey? No. Anybody, anybody watch Boardwalk Empire? Okay. All right. Never heard of Marcus Garvey? Never. Never. What about Yeah. Y'all from here? Y'all from here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and your nationality would be Dominican. I'm just, I'm, I hope I'm not reaching. Because y'all might be Puerto Rican, be like, hold on, get the ratchet. <laughs> Yo, you know what I mean? Which one of these men, though, out of these three great men, because they're all great men, they're prophets and messengers, and we're going to talk about that as well. Which one would you say has the most importance in your personal life and your growth and development right now? Uh, it's hard because, um, you know, Jesus or God, that's um, something spiritual, you know? You can't really rely on what people say, but Malcolm X, that's something, you know, that everyone knows about, you know, he, we saw it, yeah, we've read about it, we've learned about it. Yeah, I come to um, God. It's, that's interesting, though, because you're saying God, the concept of Jesus, we think God. So in your mind, is God a man? What do you, is he like a man? Is he a being? You could say. I feel like he's a spirit. Like, a spirit. I'm going to ask you, Mel Chesedek. All right, I stand here with one of the legends right here. Brother Mel Chesedek, Supreme, Shabazz, God, Allah, in the flesh, in the person. God in the person. I stand here with a legend on earth and in the universe as it was in heaven and on earth. I'm standing here with the great and mighty Mel Chesedek. Now, I ask you, my brother. Peace, God. Peace. I ask you, my brother. Yes, sir. We got Malcolm X, yes, sir. Marcus Garvey, and Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Which one of these great men mean more to you in your life today in real time and why? Malcolm X. Because Malcolm X taught that the black man is God and the white man is the devil. 
and I love him, respect him. I was taught by him, and he'll always be important in my life. Which one is more relevant in your life today? It means more to you in the world right now. I'd probably say Jesus Christ. Why Jesus? Because I can, I can talk to him. I can, uh, I can connect more to him personally than I can to either one of those men, even though they did a lot in their lives. All right, my man. I got Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, and Jesus Christ. Which one of these three men mean more to you in your present day in life and why? I mean, they all serve their purpose. Marcus was a good Christian man who sought to help his people but he had to come over here to North America in order for his program to get off the ground. Malcolm was a good brother who was fighting for his people here and abroad. Caesar Bouger, Michelangelo's first cousin, homo freak pedophile. Go in. I knew you was going to go in. Who posed for these uh, JC pictures. But if you notice the symbolism of the picture with the heart, with the reef around the heart, we're going to go from the bottom up because he's at the bottom. He's affecting your emotions, but he's crucifying your ass at the same time. He letting you know he's going to burn you. He's going to burn you by tapping into your emotions. Because your emotions is an area in your heart that you don't have no knowledge about. You get caught up in your emotions all the time. You like Mary Jane today. You in love with Mary Jane. But tomorrow night, you go to the strip club, you infatuated with Susie. Your emotions is going up and down the scale he's playing. Then if you get smart enough to get past that, then he tackles your brain by putting you in a mystical world with your aura where you don't have no knowledge about the mysticism neither. Mysticism is mystery. The mystery is your ass don't know, so I got you hook, line, and sinker. Put me in your house. I don't even exist. You have more of these pictures in your house than you do of these two. And these two existed in your time. Which one of these three men really means something to you in your life and why today? Jesus Christ. So you choose the one in the middle over, over Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X? Because of Marcus Garvey is just what I was brought up in my religion with Catholics, so that's why I picked Jesus. But I know what this man Malcolm X have done, and he means a major impact also. Yeah, but but you, go, you got to go with Jesus first. I got to go with Jesus first because I'm a black Puerto Rican and I get in trouble if my mama's watching this. Right. <laughs> Introduce yourself. All right, peace. I'm Brother Chad. I represent Forbes DVD. Also, the African village, contrary to what anybody might feel, and also party, parents actively reclaiming their youth. We're doing a social experiment by asking our brothers and sisters, out of these three men that they see in front of them, which one resonates and they can relate to the most in these days and times. Our brother El Malik Shabazz, Jesus Christ, or Marcus Mosea Garvey? I want to ask you. Which one of these brothers can you relate to the most and resonates with you right now? Without a doubt, I'm definitely going to say the brother Omar Wiley, El Haz Malik El Shabazz, Malcolm X. Not to take nothing from the most honorable, the most honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. We can't take nothing from this right. man right. who brought Pan-Africanism to the consciousness. Now let's not be confused that Martin Delaney definitely was a Pan-Africanist, but didn't do it to the level that Marcus Garvey did it. But why I say Malcolm X? Because Malcolm X's life parallels the life of the brothers that we need to get to. The brothers from the streets. The brothers that fell in the trap and through the cracks of white supremacy and how the system was designed for us to be incarcerated and be hooked on drugs. Malcolm can identify with that. So with that street knowledge, he coupled that with the conscious knowledge and learned how to turn both sides of the world into a super deluxe powerhouse that's undeniable. 
Malcolm went from a grassroots level to taking our plights to the United Nations, becoming an international figure, not just a community figure or a national figure. So when we talk about the street elements and coming up from the dirt and grit of the gutter that many of us have come from and trying to get the brothers out of there, I don't think nobody's life can, can mirror that level of success that we need our people to see like Malcolm X. But then again, that's just my opinion. You who rule network, what's up, man? It's Paris, man, live in the fresh. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, nah. Um, I would say all three. To be honest with you, I think all of them are. You can only take one. One. Just one. Yeah, just one. Um, I'm gonna go with the Caucasian brother. Jesus. Well, he's got a heart in the middle of his chest. What has he done for you? Everything. This is just like a picture. That's well, like, he's our Lord and Savior. With his heart on his chest. Well, it's the best depiction of what's really going on, right? I say Jesus Christ. Why Jesus? Uncle Max too, but right. But why Jesus? That's 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 my father. Jesus, Jesus is your father. Now hold up, hold up, hold up. Come on over here for a minute. Come here, right here, brother. Stand right here. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Now just put your face like this. I'm gonna see if I see any resemblance. Go down, cause you said that that's your father. Now do this look like the young brother? Do that look like him? Maurice says no. Because you said that this is your father. That's why you chose him. What if I was to tell you, young man, that this right here is really a made-up picture? What would you say to that? That that's not even real? Hi, Mom. How's everything? Do you have one minute? We, we just want to ask you a quick question. We have these three great people up here on the wall. We're doing a survey in our neighborhood. We want to know out of these three great figures, which one can you relate to the most? We have Malcolm X. Jesus Christ and our brother Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Wait, before you finish. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Put the mic by so she can hear Why would you compare the three of them when the one in the middle is the one that brought you here? Because we're doing a survey. It's the one and that brought you here. The one that brought us here? Yeah. The one that what about before he. before? What about before he came here? A lot of people were still here. Yeah, but he coming back and a lot of people still here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why? Because he's my savior and he died for my sins and... So in South Africa, is that the image that they got hanging up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is he, is, is he, the, same, is he the, the same Jesus, though, of the Boers, of the ones who were oppressing... The South Africans during apartheid? Yes, he is the same. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. All right. so, now, listen, what if I was to tell you that Jesus is not real? I wouldn't believe that. In your life. Which one is the most important figure right now? What you do every day? Well, I pray every day, so I see Christ. So you're going with the Christ? We're going with Christ. So you're going to retract your statement. Uh -huh. And you're going with Jesus. I'm going to go with Jesus. What about you, sister? Jesus. Because that's the first one that wakes me up in the morning. And that's who I bow down to. Each one is, is an intricate aspect of my life. Right, but if you had to choose one, which one is more important to you in your life and why? God. Which and one? And that's Jesus. Right. Jesus. So you're going with Jesus. Yeah, because... What if I was to tell you that there is really no Jesus? I would say that that's a complete myth. And it's an inappropriate thing to even think. I say Malcolm X. You say Malcolm? Man in the middle. Oh, so you're going with Jesus? Yeah. Small man. So we have your opinion why? You're going with, why? Why Malcolm? Yes. Because right now it's like, that's how we have to live. That's right now, as a black person in the community, we have to live that way. We have to, we have to be aggressive, but be smart, with, be smart about it at the same time. We can't, let us, like, we can't let people run over us, basically, in society. Why Jesus to you? Man, he did it all, man. Like, he died for us and everything, man. Like, that's the man you come to, man, when you go through everything, man. That's the man you talk and to instead. When you walk away? Um, I believe Jesus Christ. So you take Jesus over the other two? Yeah. Why? Because that's Jesus, as you're supposed to. Okay, that's all. See, nothing, nothing. Huh? Jesus Christ is the more important. And right now in my life. Um, who? Jesus Christ. So you choose Jesus Christ over Marcus and Garvey. Why? Because since I was little, I mean, I wasn't 
very introduced to Marcus Garvey and um, Malcolm X until I got to high school. So since I was little, um, Jesus Christ was influential. Was very Jesus Christ was very influential up until I got to high school. Then it was um, Malcolm X and Marcus Garvey. Okay. Now, what if I was to tell you that Jesus Christ really don't exist? Yeah, what if I was to tell you that Jesus Christ don't exist? Red pill, get my car. Red um, pill. Then, I, then I would say, why would you say that? Well, I'm, I'm asking you, what if I was to say he don't really exist? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have nothing to say. Which one is the most important? Jesus. Point to it so that people can see. Jesus. So that's more important to you in your life? Yes. Why? Because we wouldn't be here. And it's not her fault. You should go first. Well, I think Jesus is the most important. Because I can always depend on him. Like, they were, the other people were really influential, but Jesus, I know he's always going to be there for me no matter what. I say, I say. I'm going to have to say Jesus. As Over Malcolm X? Yes. Why? <laughs> It's not, it's not like one of them is over each other. It's, just, it's not like one of them's over each other. It's just that's the most influential person to me personally. Uh, Jesus. Why Jesus? Uh, because Jesus is Lord. Why are you choosing the white boy over Malcolm X? Yes, sir. Peace to the brothers. I want to know one thing real quick. These three men, real quick. Malcolm X, Jesus Christ, Marcus Garvey. Which one is the most influential to you in your life right now? The one in the middle. What about you, good brother? Oh, I, I don't speak English. Yes. I yes, speak. Do. Which one? Which For, one? You just press one, two, or three. Martin Luther King. Uh, well, Martin Luther King, yeah. Martin Luther King, that one? Which one is Martin Luther King? Uh, Where you from? Uh, uh, Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso? Yeah, I'm from Ghana. <laughs> it's a hard thing, but. You know the man upstairs, of course. The man upstairs. What's one? What's one? The man upstairs. Well, um, the man. Upstairs. Is it? Oh, so you saying Marcus Garvey mean more to you than anybody? Uh huh. No, I said the man upstairs. Malcolm X. The man upstairs. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Why are you scared to say it? Show it. Point to the one so the people can see. That one. Point, touch it, touch it. Okay, now that's the one that means more to you than anything in the world. I mean, but but I'm from Brooklyn, so I'll go second with Marcus Garvey. Know what I mean? Because I'm from Brownsville Projects. I mean, so that's the second. He's the last. Thank you, my brother. How you doing? How you doing, beautiful family? I want to ask you one question. You have a gorgeous family, by the way. These, huh? Yes, you are. These, <laughs> look, today's your day. These three people right here, I want to know which one out of the three are the most influenced and important to you right now? Malcolm X, Jesus Christ, or Marcus Garvey? Markham X. The young one said, no doubt. but ask her to. All right. No. It's no trick question. It's no right or wrong. We just want to know. The baby's answer right. Follow the babies. No. Whatever they say. say okay, Malcolm I know. X. Malcolm X. Thank you, family. We love you. All right. You. Now we have our brother. Hold on. Look. We got our brother, the legend. <laughs> Can we ask you a question? This is Arnetta TV. Brother Tazaria, we are taking an intelligence survey of our brothers and sisters in the streets of New York. You are going to be blown away when you hear some of the responses. I want to ask you, out of these three messengers, these three prophets, these three revolutionaries, which one resonates with you personally? And which one is of greater influence to you in these days and time? Marcus Mosea Garvey? Jesus Christ or our brother Malcolm X? Um, you said I got to pick out of them three? Yes. yes, sir. Well, all of them, well, of course, we would never go with that bastard in the middle. <laughs> you would never go with him because he's not, he can never be. Oh, I ain't came out here for that. I can't even pick up something, but I wouldn't really pick, um, like, they both are misguided, Malcolm and Marcus. Marcus is more on it because he did believe he was a Hebrew Israelite. Like, a lot of people don't teach that. Like, his teachers 
were people that followed the Bible. You know, and people that called themselves rabbis and so forth like that. So he knew he was a Hebrew Israelite, whereas Malcolm believed in Islam, which is a false doctrine. And then Malcolm's mistake was when he went over to Mecca and started talking about white people could be Muslims as well. So even to show you that even that wasn't about black people. Uh, Mark, they both was about black people, but they was misguided in the information that they was given to the people. Like Marcus Garvey was pushing, you know, going back to Africa, which is not the solution for black people. What if I was to tell you that his top soldiers and generals were Hebrew Israelites? Oh, okay. Yeah, he just said that in the beginning. Like Marcus Garvey's teachers. Were black Jews. Right, they were black Jews. They were, So he knew who he was, but he was misguided with the whole we need to go back to Africa movement. Indeed. Malcolm was misguided in what he was with the whole Islam. But they were sincere in wanting black people to have to be separate from their oppressor. So they was, you know, like the scriptures so, say, one second, like the scriptures, Romans 10 and 1, I bear record that we have a zeal for the Lord, yes. but not according to no knowledge. That's how it's always been with our people up until the Israelite school of UPK. Indeed. So, so out of the three, which one would I would you say resonates with you personally, irregardless of, you know, we know that there may be some religious belief issues and also, you know, what they represent it in their totality but resonating wise which one would you be able to relate to the most when i was coming up as a child uh, when i was coming up as a child i would say malcolm i didn't know the history of marcus garvey because i was young i only found out the history of marcus garvey when i came into the truth as far as him knowing he was an israelite today i would just say i don't really resonate with neither one of them I resonate with their spirit as far as wanting to be separate from their oppressor, but I don't relate as far as what they're trying to push because we don't mix with Africa. Like him, like Marcus Garvey really is more of a detriment than Malcolm in this regard. Marcus knew we was Israelites but was pushing us to Africa, was pushing us to be African. Malcolm, no sweat, Malcolm actually was met by the original heads of One West and was told that we was Israelites as well. So they both knew we was Israelites, so to push a false agenda, I can't say that I relate to either one of them, but I can relate to the spirit that they had as far as wanting to free black people. Like, they both wanted to free black people. You can't knock them for that. But like anything, if we're not doing it according to what the Most High has for us, it will always fail. That's why those brothers failed at it. Him failed by, you know, his own people, and, and Marcus just failed by his movement. That's all. All right? All right, brother. Peace. Calm your cell up, brother. What's up? All right. <laughs>